Hello friends, welcome. Today I'll be making a video on anchoring at our operational level. So in this video, I will share the details of various anchoring equipments. I will also share what you need to report when you go forward for the anchor stations. And finally, what are the tricks of the trade? So here we are. After about a 200 meters walk, we have reached forward. And this is the anchor chain coming over the riding pole of our Aframax tanker. And it is leading to this horse pipe, which is connected to the ocean. So if you look carefully, you'll be able to see the anchor and also the ocean right in the corner of this hole. Now let me show you the actual anchor from the outside. So this is where we stand when we are reporting right on the ship side. And there it is the anchor flukes which are secured on the ship side and hanging out. This was the anchor on the port side. Now we have a similar arrangement on the starboard side. So you can have a look. This is your anchor chain coming from the pole wheel and behind that there is the gypsy wheel. And this anchor chain is also connected to a similar anchor and also it has the anchor outside on the starboard side. The captain of the ship decides either he uses the port anchor or the starboard anchor. Some captains often send the officer much earlier so you can enjoy the ocean till then. This is the forecastle point also called the titanic point and if you actually stand right in the edge of this you feel like you're flying. I had discussed earlier some tricks about anchoring at a management level. So once an officer is forward and he wants to find out how much time will it take to anchor. So here are some points for you to identify. First of all, observe the ocean. Feel the ship speed and also observe the surroundings. Is there any other anchored vessel around you? And if you have seen in this video earlier, there is only one ship which is close to the horizon. So from all these indications, I know that will take some time. My ship will probably go close to that ship then these waves which are right now coming from a stern will be coming from right ahead when I start dropping the anchor and also my ship speed will almost be zero and because you cannot see but I can tell you that the wind is also coming from a stern so from all these indications I know that I have sufficient time in hand so when we have time let's explore some other things about the anchoring equipment so this is the foundation of the and last, and this is the gypsy wheel also called the sprocket wheel. Behind this we'll see where the chain is coming from. And here it is. It is coming from the spurling pipe. This is called the spurling pipe below which is the chain locker. This chain locker is connected with the gypsy wheel also called the sprocket wheel and it stays in place because of the brake. And this place which I'm pointing is the brake band. This band is basically holding the wheel of the gypsy. This brake is controlled by the hydraulic system, which is this. The cylinder goes up and down and your brake band gets tight on the wheel. And if the gypsy wheel is in control, the anchor will be controlled easily. And this is where you control it from. This is the lever, which engages the dock clutch with the shaft. The shaft rotates and the dock clutch moves with it. The dock clutch moves the gear which moves the sprocket wheel or the gypsy wheel. The operator of the windlass uses this lever to turn the shaft and he further has this lever to increase or decrease the speed of the windlass. Then he can see the person who is observing the anchor from there and follows the instructions. Also another equipment is chain stopper also called the bow stopper. This is basically an obstruction on the riding pole. What it's doing is in case the chain is slipping it will hold it in place. It can be of various designs based on the ship design but basically it's obstructing the chain link in it. So if the chain now moves it will just get stuck with that. So it can be on the both sides which is like this on this ship and sometimes there is one single bar which is obstructing the full chain. So you can see this chain is quite big. It's heavy. My hand is 
actually very big so you can assume how much bigger the chain is if the chain moves with someone's hand around it can cause an immense amount of damage let's move to the operation boson is here and he's ideally running the hydraulic system now so without any load he's ideally running the shaft to warm up the hydraulic oil and the whole system and now the boson will use the lever and connect the shaft with the dock clutch and and following a good seamanship he has put the safety pin inside so that the dock clutch does not slip during the operation and then he would remove the bow stopper so the one bow stopper is out and then he removes the second bow stopper after securing the first one and now i have engaged the clutch my bow stopper is out my extra lashing is out so my anchor is now finally clear my hydraulics are now running everything is ready and i'm just waiting for the orders to start lowering a captain will always ask the officer to lower the anchor close to the water level way before he reaches the actual spot this is to ensure that the hydraulic machinery is running well and all the machinery seems to be in control because reaching the right position and not being able to lower the anchor puts the ship in a difficult situation but have we reached the right spot so again i observe the ocean and i can see the waves are coming from the port side and the other anchored vessel still seems to be far and if i observe the speed of the ship through this observing the bulbous bow i can say the ship speed is still there so there is still some time so let me show you the anchor break operation how it looks like so you can see this is the anchor break which is currently open you can see the steel cylinder the hydraulic cylinder which has come up previously it was down so just to give you guys a perspective i'm back on the forecastle just right facing forward of the ship and now waves are still coming from the port side and if a non sailor is watching this video port is your left side and starboard is the right side of the ship so from the way these waves are coming i still know i have some time and now slowly i'm taking the anchor out this is my anchor shank with the flukes coming out from the hose pipe and now my ship has started turning and i'm very close to the other ship which is anchored and i know that my ship's head is coming close to the other ship's heading so i know anchoring time is near in my previous video on the anchoring at management level i had discussed that the windlass is not designed to take the load of the ship it is just designed to take the weight of the anchor and three shackles and three shackles is about 27 and a half meters and shackle is nothing but the length of the cable this anchor chain length once it passes 27 and a half meters that is one shackle so through observation now we are very close and the waves are coming almost right ahead and soon we'll start lowering the anchor and there it goes now the anchor is going into the water beautiful isn't it let me give you a feel of how it sounds and feels like this is the sound of the ocean wind and the running machinery mixed together and then it's time to report accurately and why accuracy is important because failure in right reporting has caused a lot of damage to the ship and a loss of windlass and anchor sometimes and unfortunately also loss of life so as you can see a heavy anchor chain is coming down and all the rust is breaking because the anchor had not been lowered for a very long time right now the instructions given by the master is to bring one shackle on deck and then stop and this is exactly what the officer will do he will continue to monitor that the chain does not touch the ground because when it touches the ground it will start moving the chain will give an angle right now you can see the cable is up and down that means going vertically into the water there is no angle and this is what one shackle looks like and if you watch carefully this particular shackle is different from the other shackles this is the connecting shackle also called the canter shackle and this is used to connect the anchor chains of each length 27 and a half meters and this is the first shackle because i can see it in the marking 
you see the first shackle which is connected to this counter shackle has a ring around it on both the sides so this tells me that this was the first shackle and similarly when the second shackle comes this marking will be there on the second link which is connected to this counter shackle and as we anchor down you'll be able to observe there are two methods of lowering the anchor one is using your winch which i'm doing now slowly and in control and second is letting go the anchor in which i remove all the lashings and open the brake so the anchor drops by gravity no matter what method is used reporting is very important so an officer needs to report three things precisely how many shackles have gone where the chain is leading and what kind of stay does it have to find out the number of shackles that have been lowered you observe the links which are connected to the kenter shackle and find out they would have a permanent marking and some ships they are even painted and i want you to observe very carefully this is another kenter shackle and there is a ring on the second shackle which is connected to it so this is second shackle which has just gone out of the hose pipe so whenever you observe any shackle you report two shackles on deck and anchor cable right now it's up and down but the lead keeps changing the head of the ship is basically considered to be pointing towards 12 o'clock and your port anchor and the starboard anchor are considered the second hand of the watch so when reporting how the cable is leading you will call starboard anchor anything from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock and similarly for the port anchor it will be leading anything from 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock and after consistent reporting till we reach the final shackle which in this case was 10 shackle to be on deck and then we need to secure the anchor i have finally reached the 10th shackle i observe it as soon as it touches the deck i'm going to secure the anchor after informing the captain and immediately i'm putting down the bow stopper and then i'll put the brake on and the clutch will be disengaged and this is done so immediately because as you have seen there is a lot of current and the ship will soon start moving aft and there will be tension on the chain i don't want this tension thus i followed the exact procedure and then i reported to the captain brake on bow stopper on and clutch disengaged and immediately he wants me to look how's the chain leading now and report if the anchor has been brought up so what this brought up really means is when the chain stretches out it will stretch out to a certain limit and then at one point this chain will have sufficient force to keep the ship in place at that time your ship's stern speed will stop and the ship starts to move in the direction of the anchor and when that happens that means now your anchor is holding and it has been brought up this process may take some time as you can see the cable has now started leading currently it is in the short stay and then it will go in the moderate stay and finally it will reach the long stay it will take some time in the long stay because the chain is stretching out and the ship is turning as per the current in the optimum direction once the ship's direction heading is confirmed the chain will stretch and the chain will be able to pull the ship back in position and that is when the anchor will be brought up and my chain will be a little slack so let's see how long does it take a couple of tips for the people who are anchoring and they are waiting for the anchor to be brought up first step of the process is for the ship to come at a steady heading you can take a bearing towards an object and then just see is your ship turning and the moment your ship's heading settles down that is the time when the chain will start to stretch like in this case you can see it is slowly showing a lead towards 10 o'clock and the stay is short then becoming medium and then finally becoming long then again the ship will turn because now it has found the fulcrum point then the ship will change the heading a bit in this direction and finally then you may confidently say that the ship has been brought up now certain dangers that you must make sure that your captain knows when he is asking you to pick up the anchor or drop the anchor is 
when you are lowering or heaving using your windlass the chain should not stretch there should never be a long stay putting too much of load on the gears because the gears are not supposed to hold all this weight they are just supposed to lower the cable and heave the cable so if it is stretching you immediately inform the master the same process is followed during the heaving up of anchor the engine is used so that the chain whichever direction it is stretched towards the ship is actually moved in that direction closer to the anchor so that not much load is coming on the windlass and finally the anchor is heaved up and you are ready to go there are two terms which people sometimes confuse so i'll just let you know anchor away is when the anchor leaves the ground and when it's above the water level it's called anchor is above the water level and it's clear you say clear when it's coming perfectly straight and there is no fouling on it and if there is certain amount of fouling you inform him that anchor is seems to be fouled or if the anchor is twisted you can say the anchor is twisted and this is how the anchor is brought up the chain has now fully stretched and if i fast forward it you will see that the chain has started to slack and now it's close to very short stay so now i can confidently tell the captain anchor brought up and that's it we are done then we only need to monitor from the bridge i hope this was a useful video for you if you have any feedback suggestion or comment then please do write down below i'll make another video about the same operation covering the role of the master when he was maneuvering on the bridge preparing for anchor all the best for exams and have a safe anchor operation and as always thank you for watching